First, I asked the cellist to draw the bow across the D string. Then I asked her to use her thumb to slip lightly along the length of the string. I asked the cellist to play a glissando to show what happens if the left hand is too heavy or too slow. I also asked the cellist to slide a piece of paper along the string to see if that helped to describe the right feeling. The actions of both hands are in many ways quite similar. I had the cellist search out the octave harmonic. It is exactly equidistant from both nut and bridge. Then I asked the cellist to repeat these actions using her ring finger. Dividing a vibrating string at a node will help to sensitize the tips of your fingers so that they can respond to critical pitch decisions. If half a string produces an octave, then a quarter of a string will produce another, whether measuring from the nut or from the bridge. A third of the string will produce a perfect fifth above the middle octave. I also ask the cellist to find the node that occurs at two-fifths of the string.